The news out of the Berlin hospital treating Alexei Navalny sounds hopeful. Наша страна обречена. He's out of a coma, responding to verbal cues and slowly breathing on his own again. But even as his supporters breathed easier, they equally attacked the Kremlin for ignoring his attempted assassination. In a video message, ally Lubov Sobol said Navalny fell into a coma in Russia. He's a citizen of Russia and they should investigate in Russia who poisoned him. Navalny nearly died on a flight over Siberia on August the 20th as he screamed in agony. Yet on the ground, Russian doctors said they found no toxin in his system. It was only when he got to Germany that doctors there confirmed traces of the Cold War era nerve agent Novichok. It's the same poison that was used to try to kill Sergei and Yulia Skripal in the UK in 2018. Vil Mirzayanov helped develop Novichok in Soviet times and later told the world of its existence. He believes whoever poisoned Navalny found a way to put it inside his clothing so that it slowly absorbed into his body. It penetrated into the body of Navalny, but it was not uh, poisons for other people. With the condemnation rising inside and outside the country, Kremlin-friendly voices have been struggling to formulate a response beyond, we didn't do it. We sent Navalny to Germany without poison in his system. It was discovered, strangely, in Germany. So it's Germany that has to explain itself. The next move may come from Germany. Russia exports a tremendous amount of natural gas to Europe and delaying a pipeline under the Baltic Sea could come at a huge cost. Today, a German official said all options for sanctions are on the table. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.